Hi Virgo, I'm doing something a little bit different for you guys. I'm doing a short little reading on how the energy of the lunar eclipse is going to affect you. Now I'm doing it right now during the lunar eclipse so that all that energy can just be just seep into the cards and get as accurate as reading a reading as I possibly can. So I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. This is such a little tiny channel and you guys are making it grow and grow and grow, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful. And by liking and subscribing, you are telling YouTube that you're appreciating the content that I am putting out. So that's amazing. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see, Virgo, how will the Lunar Eclipse energy of January 20th, 2019 affect you? How will Virgo be affected by the lunar eclipse energy of January 20th, 2019? How will Virgo be affected by the lunar eclipse energy of January 20th, 2019? How will Virgo be affected by the lunar eclipse energy of January 20th, 2019? Show me clearly, show me clearly. How will Virgo be affected? Oh, okay, so I'm going to stop there. The devil, which could be a Capricorn, Justice, which could be a Libra. And then you have the King of Pentacles, which could be that Capricorn that we're seeing here coming through. So for a lot of you, this could be that you are finding justice with a Capricorn that you might have been, you know, having a hard time with. So for some of you, that might be how you're moving forward, how you're embracing what it is that you want. There could be a healing going on between that, that Virgo and you. Not that Virgo, you a Virgo. That Capricorn in you. For others of you, this is you know, embracing that justice and that balance of what it is that you want and setting yourself free. You know, really sitting and being that king of pentacles. So though this represents a lot of people here, a Capricorn, a Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, which is yourself here too, shining through, you are really saying, you know what, this is my time and this is what I want. And that's what this lunar eclipse is helping you gain clarity in. It is saying here that for some reason, you're going to feel a sense of justice, but you're also going to feel the chains that have been around you for quite some time, I would say, that you feel you feel that I have to do this, I have to do that, everything has to be a certain way. You're going to feel that those chains start to loosen and start to lessen. And you're going to be a lot more kinder to yourself and a lot more open with your expression of how you want to move forward, of where you want to be within your life and of where you stand. And that's because the angels are right around you. So listen to the information that you're going to be getting during this lunar eclipse or even after the lunar eclipse because there's a sense of insight and understanding leading you forward. There's a sense of being just and fair to yourself. So you're following your majesty. There is majesty that is guiding you to where it is that you want to be, that is helping you embrace what it is that you want. It is you can say that it is your spirit guides, your angels, you know, leading you forward, fiercely being protective over you. But this is you st also stepping back and saying, where is my soul's desire and what don't I want to be chained to anymore? Because in the, in the Rider White Smith deck, this is depicted by a devil holding the chains of a naked man and a naked woman. This is your justice. This is also a Libra. So you could be finding justice with a Libra. I would think that this is more you finding justice with a Capricorn for some reason here. I feel that, but this is you shining through. This is you becoming more kind of aligned with yourself. That's what this lunar eclipse energy is going to do for you. Yeah, this is what it's going to do for you, Virgo. It is going to put you more in line with what you want. And it's going to have you start looking at things like, how am I going to move forward? You know, what is it that I want? What is truly, truly important to me? And now you're starting to be more just, more fair, more understanding it to yourself. And this is also saying that you're going to see things a little bit more clearly after this lunar eclipse. I don't think it's during the lunar eclipse. I think during the lunar eclipse, you're going to feel these chains kind of falling away a little bit. It's not a lot of it. It's not going to be that after this lunar eclipse, your life completely does a 180. It is as if that this lunar eclipse, the shadows that are kind of washing over you, the clarity that is coming your way through this eclipse of the moon is is going to have you see the justice that you want within your life and the way that you want to move forward. This is also your prosperity. This is you shining through. You are becoming more you during this lunar eclipse. And that's what you want. You know, that's what you want completely and utterly, Virgo, to be strong, to be confident, to be competent and moving forward in your clarity. There's a lot of clarity that is coming your way. Your subconscious message. 
you have, I think I'm laughing because I believe this is the same subconscious message that Leo had. And that is so insane. This is you knowing your mind. This is you knowing exactly what it is that you want. It's cutting through doubts and fears, embracing this gift from God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, and saying, you know what, now it's my time. Now it is my time. So mental clarity is going to absolutely be your guiding force in during this eclipse and after this eclipse. And now you're knowing what it is that you want. There's something that you're cutting through, something that you're getting rid of, and a more authentic you is coming to the surface. And you are feeling more comfortable within your skin. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, you know, thank you for giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. You guys are amazing, and I love reading for you. I'll be reading for you guys really soon. Bye.